We have got two trolleywurfs. Gimme gin. <laughs> so much stuff. I'm just gassed. I'm gassed. <laughs> Hello, my chums. It's uni shopping time. Woo! I found out my accommodation like two days ago so now that I know my accommodation I know what my room looks like I can like buy some bits and bobs I've made a list it's so long it's so long she's a fat girl she's sick but hopefully we get most of the stuff on the list um, we're heading to lots of different shops we're going to like Dunelm TK Maxx maybe John Lewis first stop of the day Dunelm baby Let's go. Hope you can hear me through the mask. Glitz. Glitz. No, you're uh, so, you're, you I, like, I the glitz. like the glitz. I like glitz. When you get to my age, you need blink. <laughs> We're in the kitchen section. I think that's a good size. That looks like a good size. Oh, that's expensive though. For £1, that expensive? 30 quid. Let's go around the corner. Let's go around the corner. <laughs> oh look, they're all here. We have got two trolley worths and we literally... Can't breathe. Can't breathe masks. Oh, love that. Um, we're literally in the first shop. Let's go to the till, baby. Second stop, TK Maxx, baby. We're literally already so drained. Like, yeah. how long we shopping for? Like an over an hour in there. We had to have it scanned. But we had to have all the stuff scanned twice because the machine basically, like the till, just like broke because we had so much stuff. <laughs> Should I use that for my coffee? you think that well that yeah yeah put a straw in here yeah. put a straw in there for my coffee what are we thinking yeah that's fine <laughs> oh, oh, round the roundabout we go back in the car now Woo! um we spent considerably less in TK Maxx and um, we got a couple bits like we got I got a knife hangers hangers but now it's time quarter past three we're ravenous. We're gonna go to Waggers, we're gonna get 50% off the last one. And then after that, we're planning on going to John Lewis. Oh, you can't see me, it's gone all dark. <laughs> right, a little bit of a change of plan. We're not in Waggers. We have to get hot dogs because everywhere is so full because it's the last day of Eat Out to Help Out. So, um, I, like, I don't even really like hot dogs that much, but um, there we go, vibes. Mm. This lighting's not a vibe. Um, we're now in John Lewis. We've had our lunch. Um, our lunch was a bit of a shambles, as you probably saw. Um, but it's fine, we're fed. We're less hangry. We've gone through our list. We've got most of it. There's still a couple bits we need to get. We need to get some, like... Gin. Gin. Gimme gin. Good news, guys, we found the gin. Like, there's so much of it. Mermaid gin. <laughs> I mean, Why are they? Why are they all so expensive? I'll stick with spoons prices, thank you. We're in the duvet section. Mm. My plan is to get two duvets, so then it's easier for washing, basically. Yeah, they look a bit like a doily. I think we're all set, aren't we? <sighs> and we're home. Jesus Christ, it's been a very productive, but a very like long day. Like I've enjoyed it, I've loved today. Today was so fun and I'm so excited for all the stuff that I bought. <laughs> um, but I am exhausted. Um, there's a couple bits we didn't get, so I'm just going through the list and ordering some bits on Amazon, like some fairy lights and stuff we didn't get. Um, but I'm gonna show you the pile of things that we got today because it's a little bit insane. Like, look at that, like there is, so much stuff there like that suitcase is full like this isn't even doing it justice like there's so much right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna merge this video in with the haul because i feel like i didn't get a lot of footage of the day out like enough to be like one video so i'm just gonna merge the two so you can see what i bought today Woo! but i'm going to film that segment tomorrow because i am absolutely exhausted i'm gonna go eat some Cereal. I want cereal. Fuck it. So, fast forward to tomorrow Lottie, who's gonna show you guys what she got. Woo! <laughs> Greetings! 
and welcome to the haul portion of the video. <laughs> so basically, I have split everything that I've bought into three sections. Section one is like boring stuff, so I'll just go through that really quickly. Section two will be like the nice little decorate bits for my room, which is like exciting and then section three is like kitchenware which is also like cute so that's also exciting i know that i've bought a lot like i know but all these things will last me for my whole time at uni so yeah i am going to go through the boring stuff really quickly first um because then we just get out of the way you get me you understand cool beans right First thing I got is a mattress topper. Um, basically, you don't know who's been sleeping on your bed before. Like, it's probably not gonna be very comfy. There might be some weird stains or something on that bed that I don't wanna know about. So I just got this big old mattress topper um, so that I could stay comfy and fresh, basically. And it was on sale, so. Extension cable. Oh my God, this is so big. Um, drying rack, because man's gonna have to do her own washing bloody hell duvet um i got like all seasons one so it's like it has like a warm layer and a cold layer and then obviously pillows for my bed um yeah kind of need them to sleep you know the vibes nearly finished with the boring stuff don't worry hanging organizer for like extra storage i also got these drawer dividers because i've got drawers under my bed command strips i know i've got um quite a few cork boards in my room so i don't know if i'll need these but these are always just handy to have anyways so just pick some up and then the last boring bit is just some white sheets and pillowcases basically um i got two lots because of washing like i can do like a load at a time and still have a duvet okay now going to more exciting bits Woo! <laughs> Talking of bedding, um, I'll show you like the nice parts of the bedding now. So these are the duvet covers I've gone for. Um, I just love a, like a white duvet with a little bit of like zhuzh. I feel like it's clean, but it's also like, oh, she's not just she's not just clean. She's also got a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of space. Um, so these are the two that I've gone for. I've gone for this one, which I don't know if you can see, but it's like got like little pinchy moments like like the material kind of gathers together i think it's not in focus but it's fine you can't you you get the impression you get the vibe the other white duvet i've gone for is this one and i thought it was so cute it's got like little cheetahs on it and then it's got dots just on the other side of it basically um so you can kind of see it on the back there and it's reversible continuing the bedding thread does that make sense? The bedding chain of thought. Chain? Train. What is it? Chain of thought, train of thought, trail. Anyways, I got this throw. If you have not felt Dunelm's teddy range, just go to one of their shops and feel their teddy range because it's the softest thing. Um, I had their dark grey teddy blanket last year, but where it's been through the washing stuff, it's a little bit, a little bit crusty, you know what I mean? So I got a nice fresh one for uni and I really like this colour. Then I got a couple pillows just for the decoration because I think pillows just make a room. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, so I got this one. I love the colour. And then I got this one as well. And I really like this because I've got a similar cushion on my bed at home. So it kind of like link home and leads and it was just feel very homely. Do you know what I mean? And also pink and green are my mum's favourite colours. So it will remind me of her if I miss her. I just got some hangers for my wardrobe. But can we talk about how cute these hangers are? So nice. And they're the velvet ones. I always go for velvet hangers. They're the best. They're the bomb. Then I got this little plant dude um i just love a bit of greenery you know what i mean brings life to the room so i mean this is fake because you really trust me to keep a real plant alive like that ain't happening so i just got like a little fake plant and it's cute i like it um i also got this this is so cool i'm taking it out of its wrapping i need to show you it's so cute um it's just like a little ring stand like a little jewelry stand 
Ooh ee, ooh ah ah. Look how cool she is. I love it. Um, what else? Oh, over the door hooks. Um, again, like student rooms aren't the best for storage. Actually, mine's all right. Mine's got quite a lot of storage, but you always want to maximize the amount of room that you have. So, if I get one of these, I can hang up my coats. You know. I also got a room diffuser because you're not allowed candles and I'm an avid candle burner like I've got a candle on right up there right now um, but I can't do that because it's a fire hazard so that will hopefully keep my room smelling fun and fresh I also got um, a rug for my room basically I just got a white rug to put on the floor because I feel like dorm floor would just be like crusty like you know like crusty carpet like and also it'll brighten up the room I feel and it's so soft oh my god it's so soft and then the final thing in my like fun room section um it's wallpaper right okay hear me out hear me out I'm not wallpapering my dorm don't worry basically um my dorm has like lots of red cork boards and red doesn't really go with my vibe so I just picked up this grey kind of like textured mat wallpaper just to put up on those cork boards because I just want to cover up the red you know it just won't go in my pastel vibe of my room do you get me do you get me so yeah that's everything I bought for my room basically and now I'll go on to the section three pile three which is kitchen where I'm gonna drag it over oh oh wait wait I forgot towels I just got four towels too big too small for my bathroom. I've got a shared bathroom, so these will be living in my room. But um, again, I like the colour. <laughs> Kitchenware, let's go. Yay! Number one, oven tray, measuring jug. Um, kind of self explanatory, innit? I've got a pot with a lid little microwave moment um just for like heating up beans or stuff in the microwave like soup you know non-stick frying pan i only got one um and i got like a relative like a relatively deep one standard tea towels microwave cover so that your food doesn't pop all over the shop when you're cooking it cheeky little chopping board moment i got one of these washing up things that you put your washing up liquid in and then just scrub you know what I mean and it comes with a little stand as well so hopefully it won't like, drip all over the place ice cube tray for my iced coffees love that and also um, this was a bit of an impulse buy in TK Maxx but I thought these were very good basically they're like reusable ice cubes I got a um, weighing scale okay yes I know this is a little bit like extra like I probably like didn't need this but um, it will hopefully help me stay on track for my weight loss so that was the thought behind that then I got some cooking utensils so I got like a serving spoon um, like a flipper and then I got like a wooden stick thing I then got a garlic crusher or a garlic press, whatever they're called, to crush my garlic because I just love a bit of garlic and I always use this at home. So, can opener for beans. I feel like I'm just going to be living off beans for like three years, so she's important. I found this, right? An avocado pod thing. I always just eat one, like a half of avocado at a time and I never know what to do with the other half, like how to store it. So I'm hoping that this will work. Um, but yeah, got that for my avocados, cause I'm a basic bitch. Got some bamboo straws for my coffee in the morning and for saving the planet. Call me Greta Thunberg because I'm an environmental queen. Lemon squeezer for my lemon water. I got a colander. If this isn't the coolest colander you've ever seen, then Very cool colander, like it. I feel like it'd be very good for washing fruit as well. I then got a knife, dun dun dun. Um, basically, I've decided to go all gold for my cutlery because then one is aesthetic, <laughs> um, and two, 
like it will just be easy to tell that it's mine. Right, moving on to crockery. This is the crockery I got. I just love the colour. Like, I think it's really cute. If you're curious, I'm bringing two big plates, two little plates, two big bowls and one little bowl. I also got like this little ramekin because I feel like this is always very handy for like dips and sauces. And then I got some glasses. So I just got like one main glass. These are, these are all plastic. I literally got these in like the garden section. Um, but I got this big old glass for my iced coffees in the morning. Mm. And then I got these glasses for like drinks like pre's and stuff oven gloves basic i know i would use a tea towel but i'm a little bit of a pussy when it comes to like the oven and like heat so i have to use oven gloves instead of a tea towel when i open the oven fun fact mm. food bags um basically just again for storage purposes um if i want to put something in the freezer so that it's like takes up less room do you know what i mean like it's less bulky i don't know about you but in our house like tupperware is like such a staple so um me and my mum were like on the hunt for like perfect tupperware and i think we found it um and also they're like eco-friendly so yeah i got three of these little ones um which they're also blue as well which is cute um so that's for like meal prep so i can just keep stuff in the fridge basically and then i got like a bigger one which i'm basically going to use like a lunch box and then the final thing talking about lunch boxes is i got a chilies food pot um i got like a cute one i got like the stainless steel one it's just to like keep your food hot so if i'm packing like a lunch or something for the middle of the day i can just put this in my bag it's a good size but yes that is everything that i got there's a couple things that we like couldn't get so i ordered them on amazon i'll put them on the screen now but they should be arriving in the next couple of days um but yes i think that is everything i need i also need to buy mugs that's it that's the only thing but yeah i'm just so excited to move in now like We've got a group chat for our flat already. Like, I've been talking to some of the girls. They're all so lovely. But yeah, I'm just gassed. I'm gassed. Um, and of course, I'll be vlogging it all for you guys. Don't you worry. Freshers vlogs coming your way. Moving vlogs. Don't you know it? But yeah, I'm going to sign this video off here because I have been rambling. And I feel like this video is going to be a little, little bit of a lengthy one because it's like two in one. Do you get me? Do you get me? If you're going to uni, comment down below where you're going. I'm nosy, I wanna know. Tell me what you're doing, what you're studying, what the vibe is. If you're not going to uni, tell me about your new school year, what you're looking forward to, you know? But yeah, remember that I love you all millions and trillions and I'll see you next time, goodbye. Oh, I can't reach. Mm -hmm.